What's going on guys? Welcome back to a new video. Today we have a very early first look at 2022 Gold Standard Football thanks to the first off the line release here. We're also giving away some top scoring on baseball. Information is right here on the screen if you want to enter. Very easy steps, all free. Should take no more than a minute or two and you can get some prizes. So we've been doing a lot of baseball recently. You guys might have seen those videos. Uh, if you haven't seen them, you're interested, definitely check them out. Just want to reintroduce baseball to the channel. Won't be doing a ton of it. Won't be flooding it. Um, we had a bunch of videos recently with, you know, Derek Jeter, did Topps Chrome comparisons, stuff like that. Um, it will be kind of leveling out a little bit and we'll slowly work on to the channel. Just want to do some big stuff for Topps Chrome. But we have Gold Standard football here now and we'll have some basketball football. Some people were asking, where is the basketball and football? Uh, football here now and basketball coming very soon. This is a, uh, I feel like I've had decent luck. I mean, that Kyler got 19 and... For the most part, I think it's a solid product, but I do have some complaints with it usually. But let's get into the information. Let me tell you guys what it's all about. So, SRP for this product is $200. Hobby will cost you in the $400 range, somewhere around there. And first off the line is around $600, kind of the low $600 range. So, seven cards in every single pack, one pack per box, 12 box cases. You get five autograph or relic cards, which it was and, or just five autos, but yeah, relics too. Two base or base parallels. So, First off the line comes with some pretty nice stuff here actually. So you get one Nouveau Riche patch auto to 79 and then one Emerald Parallel to 11. So checklist for the patch autos is actually pretty nice. If you haven't seen that, definitely check it out. I think it's 29 signers. So it's not very typical to see something like that, but um, yeah, definitely check that out. The checklist for the first off the line is not too bad. So there's a hundred vets and legends and hundred rookies all to 99 or less for the base. Look for parallels like Rose Gold. Violet to 10, Sapphire to 5, Black 101s, and stuff like Opulence for the inserts, uh, Golden Tickets, there's everything on the, oh, there you go, Golden Ticket, I'd love to get that, Gold Dust, so those are some of the rare ones, there you go, there's the back, packaging's pretty cool, and uh, there's also Double Eagle, look for autographs, uh, rookie jersey autographs, RPAs, there's single, double, and triple, triple, uh, patch autos you can get, and then there's Tag 101s, so look for those, then uh, there's base autos, uh, there's stickers for the vets, rookies, things like that, dual autographs, um, golden shields, diamond autographs, things like that. Not easiest to find. It's not, it's not flawless exactly, but it's a chance at those. Memorabilia, I don't think anyone really cares about hearing too much, so I'll say prime and super prime memorabilia and many sets. I honestly, like, does anyone really care about hearing about the memorabilia, especially when it's not associated? So, I don't know. I'm not including it this time information-wise, but if you guys want to hear it in the future, let me know. I just don't think anyone cares. If you haven't seen our Don Wars Elite video, the jersey card in that one, that was atrocious. That was sad for the hobby. I really hope we don't see more of that. Very bad. Anyway, here we go. So here is gold standard packaging. Gets a, gets an A plus for me because it's cool. It's secure, it's creative. So if we're paying this much money based on just the packaging, I shall say A because it's kind of tough to get it out. There we go. Then uh, we're getting our money's worth packaging wise. There we go. And here is our pack. Our fan favorite fillers. We'll just block the uh, next coming card. We'll go through pretty quickly and just show what we have. All right, let's hope something cool. Here we go. Don't know where each kind of card is, but, and it's not opening very easily, is it? No, it's not. Uh, great. All right, gotta love it. Let me try from this side. And be very careful if you tug too much on the corners. There you go. I don't know why it's like that, but sometimes it'll pull on them a little too much. So there we go. Go like that. There's the pack empty. And here we go. All right. Hopefully something cool. So here's our cards and card number one. All right. So get into focus here. There we have our practice jersey rookies. Yeah, boy, we have 17 out of 30. Gotta love it. We'll see that probably picture for this guy for every product until contenders, maybe even during contenders and playoffs, stuff like that. This sometimes when we see the change, but yeah, practice jerseys. Woohoo. TJ Pledger. There we go. Uh, 30 is Citrine, I think, like, like that, something. That's, that's the parallel, I think. Could be wrong. I was reading the checklist and I remember they said this was maybe new. Not that it's that big of a deal, but all right. Next one up here is those are first off the line parallel. Bang. Jersey match. Corey Davis. Five of eleven. Alright. So that's the Emerald to eleven. There we go. But this week we should have uh Chronicles basketball. I don't think I'll do hobby for this unless you guys really want it. 
and comment down below if a ton of people want it we'll do it too but don't think i'll do hobby for this just the uh, first off the line here so this is a very early look at the product and uh yeah they shipped it just very early so all right here we go our hits should be here and continuing out throughout the box so here we go first one up is not in focus gold rush joe mixon to 299 player worn okay at least it's associated you might be saying aren't all the vets at least player worn mm -mm -mm. not anymore here we go but even if it's game worn even if it's dirty which i've gotten before they're really just not worth too much unfortunately um jersey cards there's many of the autos that you guys i feel like want to see me personally i'm looking for some evan neal some o-line love looking for some i don't know anything cool cool stuff for the collection okay i like these white gold to 2.99 again 42 tj hawkinson is it associated it is all right i'm on super watch for associated because They've been pulling some funny business recently with the patches. All right. It's a nice card. White gold jersey. Now, I don't know if they ever corrected it, but they technically said on the listing for this product, it was only five autographs. Probably a typo, but technically they said it was supposed to be five autographs and no mem cards. That's what it said on the listing. But there's been a lot of stuff going on with uh, that listing for this product, claiming five autographs and technically no relics then. The Topps Chrome release, if you haven't seen what's going on with that. Yeah, not too uh, not too good, but interesting times. Another jersey card. So, yeah. You don't like to see that ore, that five auto ore relic. Because you know they're giving you uh, tons and tons of jersey cards. So, the three ninety nine dollars Sherwin Burks with uh, some surface scratches all day. And there we go. All right. Happens with thick cards. I always just like to point it out for you guys. You guys usually see it too and say, hey, you missed that. So I see it there. All right. Now it should be uh, two autos. So far, we have a whopping like, hmm, I don't know, like 15 bucks in cards. I don't even sell a lot of the stuff either. I just like to keep it, a lot of it. And uh, I like gold standard, but yeah, it can be a rough one, especially at the prices, which should be lower for this class, I feel like. All right. This should be, a, please, an auto, right? Jahan Dotson. All right. That's a nice one. And he's in his jersey. Good player. 23 of 25. That's nice. And please don't change your auto. He's got a decent auto so far. Don't change it, man. That's good. That's good stuff right there. All right. It's a nice one. I have uh, one auto of his now. It's my second one I've gotten him. Had a nice week one. So hopefully we can keep it up. Nice card. These are a 55 point, by the way. The jerseys. I'd go with 100 or 130 for the thicker ones. But all right, final card. This is our RPA, the guaranteed RPA to 79. Here we go. Hold it like this. And let's flip it. Three, two, one. Sam Howell. Oh, look at that patch. Jeez. Interesting. Sam Howell. So this is like opulence. This was an opulence set. Nouveau Riche. But yeah, you guys like these videos. Like the video, subscribe. We'll have a lot more. I like reviewing these products. They're fun. And um, I'll try to get first off the line for you guys. So we can see it as early as possible. Yeah, we'll have many more reviews like this. So um, yeah, that concludes our opening there. Sam Howell. Very nice patch. That has uh, nothing to do with him. But there's the back to 79. That is to 19. So they definitely upped it. But there, there's less. There's 29 compared to, I would guess, like 40-ish from that year. So... There you go. Cool. What do you guys think? Sam Howell. Interesting. What a strong QB class. All right. Nice patch. This is one of the opulent sets, which is now in football. Just It's just part of gold standard, really. So here we go. All right. Nice. Stick. Oh, I didn't even realize that. Hold on. Look at this. The sticker's off the card. Party wants to peel it off. Look at that. Dude. The sticker's not even on the card. Come on. Really? They can do better than that. Yeah, so I can literally, if I want, peel off the sticker right now. And I was wondering why it, when I was sliding in, it looked just a little weird. And I realized this sticker is misplaced very badly. Wouldn't it be a problem if it was on card? I guess he would have signed off the card. But yeah, there we go. 
All right. Bango. There we go. Yeah, all right. There's the uh, sticker, and let's do a quick recap. That should uh, conclude our opening. Come on, man. Come on. Dude. <laughs> uh. Anyway, here's everything we got from this opening here, and then I'll rate the product. What are your thoughts? Do you guys like it, not like it? I always like the look. Love gold. Looks great. It's just so risky. It can be really rough, and getting value back from these, like, these aren't kind of like a black basketball we reviewed recently. The stuff isn't crazy popular. It's might be nice cards. So here's all the uh, jersey cards, which, you know, yeah, there's jersey cards. First off, the line parallel, Corey Davis. TJ. We have John Dotson. Nice one, 23 to 25. This class, the prices should be much, much lower. So if you're thinking about getting something, I would say wait a bit because they're trying to get as much money from you as they can. But, you know, if people aren't buying It'll have to go down and this has to go down because this class in general and just current hobby right now, it doesn't warrant prices like this. Uh, it's Sam Howell. There we go. Um, sticker off the card. And yeah, finish with these two. That is, I'm just like in shock that I've never had the sticker off the card. I don't know, man. Crazy stuff. But Dotson's nice too in a commander's box. So. There we go. What are your thoughts? What do you think about these uh, two players here? The box in general, the products. So my thoughts here, which I already kind of relayed, but you have one to 10, 10 being the best, one being the worst, five is like average. This is first off the line I'm rating. It's expensive. I'm going to give this one, I'll give it a 4.75, just slightly below average. I do like the bonus RPA. It looks like the patches they're doing are at least with this one, all right with. So I like that, but it's just too risky. And I mean, not associated, you get tons of jerseys. I mean, unfortunately the first, like four of the seven cards you can count on being worth next to nothing really. It, it can be just really risky, but I like the look a lot. I think the design always looks nice. And then the patches and first off line have historically been decent. Hopefully you get more of this. That's actually one of the worst kind of patch examples for that Kyle Murray card. A lot of them have like the Cardinal or some sort of cool piece. Um, but yeah, so here we go there. Uh, not the most popular set looks good decent looking cards once again and um the first off the line one which we're rating here does have a nice bonus here very nice bonus price expensive though so what are your thoughts comment down below and uh yeah slightly below average i wish that people uh unfortunately gave more love to these but i don't imagine it would go for like a crazy amount because i don't even think the kyler when i pulled it rookie year went for a crazy amount either um it's not a lot of love for this set, but I personally like it and wouldn't mind ripping some more only because I'm a big fan of gold. But there we go, guys. My thoughts on the product. What do you guys think? And does it for this review? Thank you for watching as always. Like, comment, subscribe. Till next time, I'll see you later.